Well, good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Bare Bones. Saturday morning, and uh, I'm going to take a look at a couple of videos of worth of gameplay. Now, this is a Linwu Fortress, and this is back when I was um, still trying to get a handle on the on the Bannerman, and I'm just coming off of my seven or eight lose streak in a row. And I figured I better pull out the I win button, which is, of course, the Iron Reapers and the Claymores, because I was using the Bannerman with a different set of units. Uh, but I figured I better carry them while I'm learning learning how to use them. And so what I like to do sometimes when I'm solo playing is I'm, I like covering uh, things that need to be covered, but no one else is willing to do it. So I'm over here on the supply point, because usually on this battle, someone comes and tries to grab it, they grab it, and then they, they run off. Oh, and here he is. And so... I figure an Iron Reaper unit sitting on the point is, you know, can kind of deter you. So that's what I've done here, is I've basically stuck my Iron Unit on the point, and I am, you know, racking up some easy kills. And so he, he, he runs off, and uh, so I go back to guarding the point. That's the, the mission I assigned myself. Like I said, usually you, you need a little bit more than one dude to, to, to convince an Iron Reaper guy to to leave. And and I, I kind of do this as well because um, as a longsword, my, my personal damage is not that good. So another guy comes in and he's bringing his Squire unit. So again, I just charge in for easy kills. And that pull arms back. I haven't even used Tiger Step yet, right? I'm just... <laughs> It's, it's going to be really hard for those guys to, to harm uh, my Reapers, because they've got over a thousand armor each. Yeah, free kill. And during this time, I didn't notice, but A was being capped. Because uh, usually if I see A going, I'll charge down the line, but I didn't because I had my hands full. So instead now I'm, I'm wandering around looking for a place to happen, I guess is the best way to describe it. I still got a full Reaper unit. I've erased a Squires and a Surf, so nothing really spectacular. Mm. Good coffee. So, and I'm trying to use them right now like, like their foot calf, which is kind of silly, but that's what I do. So this guy comes in, and I know I can't get away, so i got to charge. <clears throat> and then uh, then this Spear Sergeant's coming, and I know I'm pretty much done. So I throw the heel down. Now, I do switch to the Flail uh, in a little bit, because the Flail does a better job of taking down uh, big shields like that. So uh, I don't, should switch to it shortly. There it is, yeah. So now I'm on the flail. And uh, I'm prepared to die in place. And the cavalry arrives. The cavalry literally arrives. It's so kind of cliche, but cool. Right? So cavalry saves my ass. But I had a, I had a good run killing uh, a bunch of spear sergeants. So that's a good a good use of, uh, of uh, you know, iron reapers. Oh, coffee is so good. So I got three left. So usually what I'll do when I've only got like three or two of a unit left is I'll just throw them at somebody and go get another unit. But I like to heal them up first. As you can see, they were damaged. But then this longsword comes in. So there's nothing more funny than watching two longswords try to kill each other. But I had three Iron Reapers. So I figured, yeah, I'll, uh, you know, maybe I'll win this one. And I, I do, of course. But it is kind of amusing. I mean, just him and I sitting there dueling. I'm not really at my personal best when I'm trying to fight somebody solo. Thank you, Mr. Iron Reaper. So I finally make it back to the other point. I'm going to pull the uh, the Bannerman. I'm still, at this point, not really sure what to do with them. So I try. I almost try to play them like I'm playing a char uh, uh, um, like a Charger or like a Claymore. So what I'm going to do here is... When I'm guarding a point, I like to sit just off the point, right? I don't want to be on the point. And because you get a lot of points actually for interrupting a a, uh, a cap, right? So I'll just sit there and wait. And I'm a meatball, so I usually have about 33,000 health. And so I'll just wait. And uh, if someone gets on the point, I'll go and try and interrupt. And you get a lot of points for an interruption. And again, I would have put the banners, the banner down a little earlier. 
But so I gather these guys up, and I again I use them like complete crap. Uh, I charge in. There we go. Let me charge. And I use wield weapon right away. <laughs> so you know. Now I'm getting kills, but again, I totally wasted this unit. I try to send it back like it's a claymore unit, but And again, we're, we've got a lot of uh, enemy guys coming onto the point, so I stick around just to just to try and interrupt the point, throw a few heals down. Uh, you know, I don't want them capping it, right? So, so I'll, I'll I'll allow myself to die in these situations if it keeps a few more seconds of the point from being capped. Lindu Fortress is actually one of my favorite maps. So I figured there's enough friendlies there, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to get uh, get a unit. And probably my... It's hard-pressed to say, but this might be my new favorite unit now, is the Claymores. I use them a lot. Uh, them and Iron Reapers working together, to me, is like an I-win button. If I'm losing a lot of... If I'm trying to play for fun, I'm losing a lot of battles, and I want to... When if you have your change, I put the claymores and the iron reapers back in. And again, what I'm doing here is I'm I'm holding short of the point, right? Because I want to charge into the point. I don't want to be standing on it, right? And this is funny. These are these are like village watchmen or something. So you don't really want to charge head on into all those uh, little sticks. So what I do is I, I do do the charge, but then I clash the shields into the back, knock them down, so my charge comes in. And then of course I hit cry for freedom, push them forward, and then the claymore strike. And I send them back while well, they still have some uh, decent movement speed. And this is basically claymores, rinse and repeat, right? You charge in, you, you get your couple of claymore swings, and then you, you, you pull out. And I, I really like the claymores simply because of, of how fast they are, how much sheer raw damage they can put out when you, when you do it right. And again, like I said, I'll just sit short of the point and wait for that opportunity to charge. A lot of friendlies on the point, so I don't need to be there, so I just stand back. And of course, and that's one of the reasons why, is because the nuke is inevitably going to come. And and a claymore isn't a... a it isn't like a, a high defensive value unit, so the last thing you want them to do is be sitting on a point. Now I was looking, I always do that because I want to check to see if there's any opportunities, and I saw those guys standing up there, and I'm considering it. I'm like, hmm... If I clash the shields into that that uh, Shiltron, I can knock it down, and then my my uh, claymores can do some work. So that's what I do. I bring my claymores up, and this other guy sees what I'm doing, I think, and he decides to join me. Because you can charge right nicely up that ramp, and up the ramp I go, nightly bows, and clash the shields. Cry for freedom any second now. Cry for freedom, and then claymore strike. Don't know, play like I never kill players. Uh, the unit does, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I'm in there for a few seconds, and I'm out. I usually stick around a couple extra seconds just to make sure, but this always happens to me all the time, right? Boom! I walk right into a. I've had that happen more times than I can shake a stick at. I'm on the retreat, and I just happen to walk into a a, a nuke. But I mean, most of them survived. They got hit, but I only lost one. And if you play them like this, like if you play them like this, you'll you'll get you'll rack up kills like crazy, and uh, you don't lose too many each time you do it, right? Uh, eventually, you will obviously lose the unit, or you can in some cases turn a corner and you're in a bad place. That does happen. But if you manage to get yourself into a situation where you can charge, retreat, charge, retreat, charge. Look at this guy; he's doing the same thing. All right, charge, retreat, charge, retreat. Uh, you can you know you can do some good work, right? Not gonna bother trying to chase him down because I know I can't catch him anyway. So I just, I just stay on the point. It's at this point I realize that the enemy is kind of not coming anymore. So I start looking around for an opportunity to get some just more extra kills for fun. So.
once the once the countdown starts to really go, I, I decide I'm going to come in around, take a look. I'm looking for I'm looking for an easy kill, basically. Let's let's be honest, because I want to just rack up some more points before the end of the match. I'm not going to bother capping that point takes too long. And then I see the archers, and I'm like, ah, there we go. That's my that's my strawberry on top of the on top of the cake. Let's just kill these guys. And that's that's it's it's kind of cheesy, I guess, but. Nothing says, you know, happy day than, than, than wiping out some archers. Like I've literally thrown caution to the wings at this point. I'm just trying to get kills. Try for freedom. Play more strike. Oh, and I fell off. But don't care. <laughs> and that's the match. Other than getting thrown off the uh, the, the stairs there. Did, did, did some decent work. Like I said, uh, team stats, MVP, uh, pretty mediocre team, but, you know, being the best of the worst is not too bad. Uh, lots of nice kills with the, the units. Bannerman, meh. But, I mean, the, the, basically, the the last week and a half, my Claymores and my Iron Reavers have been carrying my Bannerman. Uh, now, the Bannerman have been doing good work toward the end there. Like, they started to really work for me and, and, and I'll show you some of that uh, in, in, the, in the days to come. So here's my second battle of the day. All right, so another another battle, another early one, and I decided to pull the banners first. Again, I'm trying to figure out where they fit in my style, right? Because usually like I'll pull units with a specific, uh, depending on the map, with a specific use in mind. Like I'll say, okay, I'm going to use these guys on the wall, I'm going to use these guys run around the inside, I'll use these guys on the point, you know, that kind of thing. I have a, I have a definite reason to use them except banners. I have no like I think oh well, usually I'll put like a unit here like Paladin sitting in that little valley there and that little road and I'm like yeah I don't really want to do that so like I said I don't really know um, where they fit in my playstyle so I'm kind of wandering around uh, trying to figure that out so ultimately I decide what I'm going to do is again I'm going to do the job nobody likes to do as a solo guy that doesn't have a lot of personal output in damage I'm going to guard uh, that opening the wall and I'm going to do the standard uh capture point interrupt us you know like uh, a lot of the times when i'm playing this map i'm up at the i'm up at the gate there uh either with the paladin unit or uh a uh stalwart unit or something like that but again i don't really know too well my my banners so i decided i'm going to do the uh the guard the gate job or rather guard that that wall in the opening to the right that will come if they decide to knock it down so here they are. So I'm going to pull pull in the boys. Not too urgent yet because uh, there's still families in front. Drop the flag. And again, I, I'm at the point where I'm not yet dropping it early. Charge. And I don't know at this point that I can tumble out of this. In fact, I didn't know until this morning that I could tumble out of this. Uh, so that was kind of embarrassing. Um, and then, <laughs> and then uh, I come in. Now I'm just sitting on the point, because again, I, my reflexes are like, well, what do I do now, right? So I use wield weapon instead of like rally and, and uh, you know, because rally is good. It gives you, gives you, in addition to redoing your your um, your charge cooldown, it also gives you that five seconds of thirty percent less damage. So you don't just want to roll in, use wield weapon, and then sit there like an idiot. You want to roll in, uh, use glory. After they've impacted, of course, because if you use glory before the impact, it it'll cancel the 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 charge you're doing. Uh, so you want to roll in uh, once they're in in tight. You want to use your glory, 
And then you want to use Rally so that they'll at least get that, that 30% um, you know, damage reduction. And then you want to charge, right? Uh, kind of use it like a like a like almost like a tiger step, just to, just to, just to, just to push forward a little bit and get some kind of impact damage, and then you want to use wield weapon and then you want to get out, right? So that's essentially uh, how I've come to play it. But at this point, I'm still like, even my muscle memory isn't there, right? I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? So you'll see that I'm like at that pulled up. I'm kind of like down in the bottom of the of the of the standings at this point. Um, and again, I plant the banner, pick it up, and I'm playing him like a very slow claymore. It's like, you know, <laughs> go, you know. And again, charge into the point, and then I use glory to come on in. And of course, there's nobody there to hit. And I did use rally at this point, but it was probably accidental. <laughs> There we go. Flash of shields. Try to get him back, but I died before I could. But 74 kills with the with the bannerman. Not bad. Like I said, they they can do stuff. You just have to, you know, they're just a little different than what I'm used to. But not so incredibly different, right? Like you can, they're still a charge unit. They're still fast, so I can still use them that way. I just have to take into account their other abilities. And at this point, I'm not, right? And be, and I'm only getting victories, I guess, because I'm I'm using the Iron Reaper I win button thing, which I'm now going to pull out. Okay, so I've, I've pulled out the Iron Reapers, and I'm going to head down back to B, and then I realize it's balling, so I change my mind. So at this point, I got to look around and say, okay, what am I going to do with them? Because they're slow. Like I would have used them to defend B. If if it looked like we were gonna hold B, I would have I would have used them to defend B, right? Like because if we could have stopped them from even getting to C, that would have been fantastic. But we can't. So what I do is I elect to pull put them away because they're not fast enough to, to run around the battlefield, in my opinion, right? So I I gotta come back. I gotta pull them put them away, and I gotta get uh, my claymore unit, out, which is my 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 fast unit that I can use in this situation where it's still fluid, right? We've lost B, we've still got A. I have to be able to go back and forth. So I'm pulling the Claymores. Now, you know, bearing in mind, like I said, I am a longsword meatball, so I don't have a lot of personal damage. I've, I've, I know I've said this before. So I have to use the unit to do the killing for me, and I have to basically be the tank on on the uh, interrupting the, the, the cap if I can, right? So at this point, I'm looking for something to do. Because again, I don't want to be on the front line, I want to be charging into the front line. So this looks like a pretty good opportunity. And so I take it. A little bit of nightly vows, in they go. Cry for freedom. Claymore strike. And I use the the uh, the class of shield to knock the paladins down so that I can so that the, the claymores will, will, will penetrate better, like because if, if, if they're knocked down, obviously they're not blocking, right? So, and I, got, I get away clean until this happens. Like again, another bloody nuke in the face. So I lose a good chunk of the unit because I get nuked. And let me tell you, nothing pisses you off more than getting nuked, uh, especially on your own side. I had an entire Iron Reaper unit. Get, I was taking the point. I was sitting on the point, and I'm gonna put this video up later as well. And we had the point, and somebody nukes me, and I lose the entire Iron Reaper unit. I'm like, I, first time in a long time I actually raided in chat. That, I'll put that video up later, uh, later in the week. That that's coming. Uh, but yeah, I'm now down to half a unit because um, my retreat path was the wrong way. I guess is the play. Someone nuked that area. I happened to walk into it. I'm still going to use them though, because even that half strength, uh, a Claymore unit is actually pretty good. But it was annoying that I, I, I just lost half my unit to a nuke. Usually I can avoid nukes. So I'm back down. I thought about going down there briefly, uh, just to charge into somebody's back, but... Um, 
there were just too many uh, players coming down that road, so I didn't want to go in there. Now, if this Paladin unit had continued down the road, up the road, I would have come up this, this hill and come in behind him, but he did not. I probably shouldn't have left that Claymore unit sitting there, actually, because they would have... Uh, you know, they, like I said, they start to move, but I get a charge off anyway. They get knocked down. Oh, that's annoying. But I put them in, and then I get them out. Not the best uh, use of them right there because they they uh, I didn't really get a long charge. I didn't I didn't do too much, but it was something. So again, I pull back to the point. I still got my Iron Reapers. These guys are still. Pretty effective, even with only 12 of them. I don't start thinking about throwing these guys away until I get around 5 or 6. At 10 or 12, I, I still consider them a, a, a good unit, right, for an impact. So this to me looks really good. I can charge in there and still retreat. So I'm gonna... In they go. Crack of freedom. Oh, cavalry. That wasn't nice. So I try to get them out because unfortunately cavalry kind of wrecked me a little bit. But at that point, you kind of know that they're, they're done. <clears throat> so... They've got, they brought the home team, they got Calvary, they got Madao there. I die at that point. I still got my Reapers to pull, so if they can hold on, they can hold on to the end, uh, I can pull the Reapers and, and come in. So that's what I'm waiting for. Can they hold on to the end? I'll bring the Reapers out. I remember saying, come on, hold on, man, hold on. <laughs> but look at that murder ball sitting in there. Another cavalry charge through. And the agony of defeat. But I mean, I had fun, right? Only an A+. Plus. I was second. Uh, I was mediocre. The entire team was mediocre. Uh, but, I mean, I, I did enjoy playing those those Claymores. I didn't, unfortunately, get to really use the Iron Reapers. I pulled them, put them away. Uh, and I had I had that a couple of times, well, actually a few times, where I'm I'm, I'm not getting to my third unit, you know. Um, I, I'm just, I keep playing the one unit, and then uh, the, the match ends. Either we win or we lose. But, um, so that's a, a win and a loss. Um, and that's basically my plan. I'm going to start showing a, a win and a loss, and... Uh, I'm not going to show you where I completely choke because that just isn't fun. Uh, but where you know my my play might not be as good, but there might be like individual parts of the video that, or of the game of the match that you know are worth looking at, and that's what I'm really picking there is is, is this part worth looking at, um, and and look for that uh, in future videos. Like as these are one of the these two are the, some of the earlier matches, so you'll see as I start putting more videos from last week up. Uh, you're going to see where I start using the Bannermen a lot better, and I don't just start throwing them away. But that's coming. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.